Hi, I'm Brian with 3M, and today we're gonna to talk about 3M Cubitron 2 fiber discs. Uh, and we're gonna get into a couple of things. We're gonna talk about precision-shaped grain, uh, which is the technology behind Cubitron 2. Uh, we're gonna talk about how it works, and then specifically we're gonna talk about how you evaluate uh, fiber disc for fiber disc. So, you know, evaluating Cubitron 2 over maybe something that you guys are using today in your shop. First, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about uh, why 3M Cubitron 2 fiber disc works so well. So uh, as opposed to traditional abrasives that, you know, it's more or less a crushed rock on a backing of some sort. You know, those types of abrasives ju just dig and plow through the, the metal, uh, which generates a lot of heat. It goes very slow. When you have precision shaped grain, uh, which is the technology in Cubitron 2, it tends to slice through that metal very easily. Uh, cuts faster, it lasts a lot longer, and it runs a lot smoother and a lot cooler for your operators. So now that you know a little bit more about how precision shaped grain and 3M Cubitron 2 fiber discs work, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, the system and the setup of your tool and uh, your backup pad before we get started evaluating these abrasives. So 3M makes a variety of backup pads and, and this is something that's overlooked a lot, right? So. As you can see, there, there's a big difference between this backup pad here and this backup pad, right? And, and obviously we have the black one in the middle, which is, which is in between these two. Now, backup pad and tool can make a big impact on the performance of your abrasive. So when we're speaking about backup pad, with this type of abrasive, you want a very stiff, hard backup pad. This, this mineral is very tough and it needs to break down. So the harder the backup pad, the better. Now another thing about our backup pads is you can see we have these ribs here. And what that does is it helps create pressure. It helps to create, uh, helps to break the mineral down, keep it self sharpening, keep it cutting longer. Another thing that people often overlook is the tool itself. You want a very high powered tool to run these abrasives. The, the way to think of it is that you could buy the world's greatest guitar if you don't have the amplifier to run it through, it's not gonna sound very good. These two things are the amplifier for this abrasive. So now that you know a little bit more about the setup, let's get ready to run and evaluate uh, some abrasives here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay down about 12 to 24 inches of weld. Uh, if you happen to have a, a repeatable process uh, on your manufacturing site, that would work as well. Um, something that will be consistent, something that you can time uh, and compare one abrasive over the other. Now, one thing I wanna point out here is that we have two different discs here, uh, 982C fiber disc uh, and 987. So if you're running on uh, mild steel, you're gonna wanna use 982C. Uh, and then if you're running on stainless steel, you're gonna wanna run 987. Okay, let's grab some metal that we can demo on here. So as I was telling you guys before, we want about uh, 12 to 24 inches of weld, which I have right here laid out. And then also I'm gonna grab just a hunk of some scrap metal that we can use also. Okay, so how we're gonna wanna perform this demo. So ultimately we're gonna to wanna to separate this by, uh, you know, you can see it here, I have it laid out uh, in inches. And you're gonna to wanna to divide this evenly, right? So ultimately you're gonna get a stopwatch, you're gonna run one product, so today we have 982C, run that on half of it and you're gonna time the amount of time it takes to take that weld off. Stop the demo there, record your time, then we're gonna swap it out for another product, so potentially the product that you guys are using today run the same test on the, sec on the second half of the substrate. Now, one thing I wanna talk about too, if you don't have welds or a repeatable weld, you know, you can also grab a, a hunk of metal, uh, scrap, whatever, whatever you guys wanna do. Um, and, you know, you can run a bevel test on this, similar to the way that we just performed this test, time one disc for the other. Now, you can also test end of life on this as well. Now, I must warn you on this test, you're gonna be here a really long time because this stuff lasts forever. So, um, but ultimately you're just gonna create a bevel on here. Uh, a nice metric that you can use when you're doing this as well is if that, if you have it, happen to have a scale handy, weigh the piece before, weigh it afterward. Uh, and when, when you do that, you'll get a good comparison about 
how much material this disc is removing versus this disc, as long as uh, in the, as well as the speed. Okay, so now that we have our substrate, uh, we have uh, about 12 inches of weld laid out here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our 982C Cubitron 2 fiber disc. We're going to grind half of it, and we're going to time ourselves doing that. Then we're going to take a traditional fiber disc with just crushed abrasive on there and we're going to time ourselves doing the second half. So when you when you do this, uh, again about 12 to 24 inches should give you a good understanding of how much faster uh, this product will last. So before we start grinding, we need our PPE. So glasses, uh, a respirator, I got my gloves on, and our earplugs. Okay, so now we've finished our test. We've ground our weld completely down. As you can see, 982C ground the weld down uh, nearly twice as fast uh, as our traditional abrasive. So a minute five coming in with 982C fiber discs uh, versus a minute 54 with traditional abrasives. So one thing to point out here too is that if you're anything like me, you hate doing math, uh, on our website we have a value analysis calculator. Uh, you can take information from, from your production drop it in there uh, and it'll show you how much money you can save uh, uh, on a yearly, daily basis by switching to something like Cubitron 2. So now that we're finished and we're completely done and we've, we've identified exactly how much money you're gonna save by switching to something like 982C, I wanted to point out that 3M has a wide range of abrasives, all the way from very heavy duty grinding all the way down to very, very fine finishing. So, uh, and we know that every shop is unique uh, and 3M's got you covered. Uh, so now if you wanna buy 982C, uh, you can go to your industrial distributor that you already currently buy from, or if you don't have an industrial distributor that sells you 3M, go to 3M.com slash buy abrasives, and we'll take care of you from there.